Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the concept of increasing and decreasing function. Like how such functions are increasing somewhere and how such functions are decreasing somewhere and what is the logic of derivative in order to find out increasing and decreasing functions. So let's see my dear friends, let's start the video. Well, what are the increasing and decreasing functions? A function I can define. Let me write out the first of all definition of increasing and decreasing function. A function f of x is said to be increasing. Function f of x is said to be increasing and increasing on some interval and I'm taking a to b f the condition is if your x1 you are taking any point x1 and that point is less than equal to x2 another point and that implies if we are substituting the x1 in this function and it will gives you a less value to f of x2 if you substitute in this function for all f x1 and x2 belongs to this interval a comma b what is the meaning of this definition actually so point is that a function is known as increasing function if you are you have an interval and you are taking two points from this interval and these points are such as like one point is less than two other like if one is a small point and other is a greater point like two or three so if your function is giving you a less value on the small point as well as a greatest value on your large point clear so if this condition is followed by some function so that function is known as increasing function logically but if we are talking about decreasing function you can say that a function is decreasing function f of x is said to be decreasing and we are decreasing on some interval a to b if again if you have some point that is x1 and that point is less than 2x2 but this time this point is shorter than this this point is smaller than this so this time if you are substituting x1 so this is a value it will gives you a greatest value as compared to x2 clear so you are just substituting a small point and it will gives you a greater value and if you are substituting a greater point it will gives you a less value so if this condition is satisfied by some function that is known as a decreasing function for all x1 as well as x2 belongs to a comma b interval this is a simple definition of increasing and decreasing function so let let's see more about the increasing and decreasing function with the help of some graph my dear and here I'm just giving to you. Now you can see some functions are normally increasing functions. Some functions are normally decreasing functions. But here some two points are involving that is strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. And from first we are going to start. First what is showing to you. So somewhere the function is start from O. And the other point you got of P. From O to P is a, a increasing function. A problem. But somewhere it will gives you a constant value, like it's a non increasing, non decreasing somewhere. And after this point, like this is point Q and this is point R. So overall, this function is what? Overall, this function is increasing. Overall, this function is increasing. But you can see in the part second, like this is your point P and this is your point Q. So in whole function, you can see this is gradually increasing like nowhere this function is giving you a constant value nowhere it's stopping some uh, anything so it is giving you a increasing value maximum value always so from p to q this function is always strictly increasing the increasing means somewhere the function will gives you a constant value somewhere it will be stopped to increase but you can see if the function is always increasing nowhere it is stopping their positions so you can see the function is strictly increasing now so you can see decreasing function 
So this function is decreasing like it is start from P and then it is reached to Q and from Q to R it is giving you a constant value the function is not decreasing here from Q to R but after R to other point it start again to decrease. So this is a decreasing function but here you can see this function is decreasing because it start from P and then move up to Q and it is constantly it is decreasing continuously decreasing no variable gives you constant value it's known as strictly decreasing but somewhere you got a some function is sometime increasing and then sometime decreasing and up to here then start to increase then start to increase and then start to decrease it means somewhere it is increasing somewhere it is decreasing so these kind of functions are known as neither increasing nor decreasing functions so these kind of a functions we have and now the point that which kind of a methodology we are going to use in order to find out increasing and decreasing function well see uh, here i'm just giving you some example of increasing and decreasing function so this is my example number first here i'm just giving you so if you have a function that is denoted by f of x and it is written as 2x plus 3 okay and this function is defined on r r is a set of real numbers like minus infinite to infinite you can say so if you are taking any two point i'm just taking uh, two point that one is x1 and other is x2 so x1 is less than 2x2 so here if you are substituting x1 in this function so what you got like you can say in the other way you can say that 2x1 is less than 2x2 multiplying by 2 and if you are adding 3 like 2x1 plus 3 is less than 2 of x2 plus 3 Am I right here now you can see this function is known as f of x1 and this function is known as f of x2 clear so f of x1 is less than f of x2 either x1 is less than x2 it means you can say that what is it it is strictly increasing function strictly increasing like at a small point it is giving small value and is the larger point it is giving the largest value so you can say that this function is strictly increasing strictly increasing function no problem at all okay see the another example my dear friends here i'm just giving you example number second and here i can consider the functions value f of x is equal to a raised to power x a raised to power x so in the case of a raised to power something like some constant having power algebraic values so in that case you have two opinions like what will b a stand for like if a is a negative so the result will change but here i'm just taking the value of a my dear friends so a will be greater than zero and less than one then what will be happens okay and here you can say for all x belongs to r i'm just taking real numbers that so let's see so if you are taking function that is a raised to power x in that case i can say if i'm taking x1 is less than x2 so it means you can say that a of x1 is less than a of x2 no now listen to me what what is a actually a having value that from 0 to 1 like it is less than 1 so if your a is less than 1 so here you will not say it's a less than it always will be greater than so this always will be greater than sign if your x1 is less than x2 so your a raised to power x1 is greater than a raised to power x of 2 but if you got a is greater than 1 so in the second case i'm giving you for this question and here you can see if the smallest value is giving the greatest value smallest point is giving the greatest value so it means this function is what this function is strictly decreasing I'm not using a equal to sign if you are using equal to sign so that will be increasing or decreasing but if you I'm using less than or greater than only so it means we are talking about strictly increasing strictly decreasing and here you can say if if your a is greater than 1 in that case if you are taking x1 is less than x2 so your a is to power x1 is always less than 2 a is to power x2 in that case this function will be strictly increasing at the smallest point it will gives you smallest value largest point it will gives you largest value so that is strictly increasing and this function is strictly decreasing so uh, this was just uh, simple examples for the strictly increasing and the functions
and further we will just going to discuss some uh, questions and how the derivative will involves and how with the help of derivative we are going to find out the value of increasing interval decreasing intervals and specific point also so let's see guys thank you so much for watching this bye bye take care